dove tamales. First, you gotta prep the meat. Got the dove seasoning. This is, uh, I don't know if this is the best seasoning. It's the only seasoning I know of, so that's what we're gonna use. But, used it before, it's pretty good. What do we got here about? Maybe two pounds of boned out dove meat. So we're just gonna put the seasoning in here. This thing calls for five, four pounds, half of it. I'm not going to worry about measuring it. Mix it up. Right, we're going to use a pressure cooker. Can you see? Is it too dark? Oh, that should be right. Okay. There we go. Okay. So, this isn't a how to use a pressure cooker video. So, I don't really know if I'm doing it right, but we're going to put. Just enough water to make it juicy. We'll let it cook, and then we'll go to the next step. Masa. <coughs> Best thing to do is buy a masa already made. That way you don't have to mix it, make a big mess. Um, this stuff is, if you have the right kind of grocery store, it's available. If not, you're gonna have to use the powdered stuff. But, uh, it's all the same. Um, but anyway, this is enough to make way more tomatoes than what we're gonna need. Got a corn husk. These things, best thing to do with these is, uh, we'll soak them in water here in a second. Of course, we talked about the spices. This, uh, this is important. That way your tamales taste like tamales instead of something else. Of course, you can do whatever you want to do. We're going to put beans in these. So that's all you got to have. We'll wait for that to finish cooking. All right, you got to soak these things. And uh, mine are a little old. I used them. I got these a long time ago. And... I don't know if they're going to get soft enough, but I think they probably will. But just soak them. I don't, I don't know how long you're supposed to soak them, but anyway, that'll get that. <laughs> tender. I'm going to pull them out, drain them, and uh, chop them up. All right, those have been soaking for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, I think. I think we looked it up. It's supposed to be about 30 minutes, but I think they're going to be all right. I mean, as long as they're soft enough to wrap up, I, I don't know. Maybe wrong, maybe right, I don't know. We'll find out, we'll see how it turns out. Kind of 
try to avoid all the juice. That'll just make the masa a mess. I'm gonna chop it up. That's the whole purpose of using the pressure cooker so that it'll be soft enough to do this right here. how you want it all shredded up just like that that's good all right you gotta have a pot with a steamer goes down the bottom masa spreader pot needs to have a lid to steam I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing started. Fill the pot up. This thing sets. Come over closer, Ring. Show them, show them. There's this where this sets in the your tamales are gonna sit on the top. So you don't want your water up here boiling your tamales. So when you put your water, only put about this much in there. Just right about halfway to that rack. So when it boils, it doesn't get all over your tamales. You can always add water if you can't get the tamales steamed and you run out. You can add a little bit of water. I'm gonna go ahead and start this to get it hot. Okay. Put them together, get your husk, and uh, make sure you just have one because they stick together real bad. But put it on here. I'm just, I don't know, I'm just gonna use my hand here, but get, get enough masa to. spread pretty evenly on there. I found that if you get if you get this a little wet it works a little better. But you don't want to get it too thin or else if they fall apart when you open them up. So make sure That's about, that's about right. About, about this, about that thick. I'm too thick, can't get them to cook. Too thin, they fall apart, so you better be close. Take your meat. This is just to taste however much meat you want. I mean, if you like really meaty tamales, then go for it. I'm gonna put a few beans on, and then just roll them up. Kind of flatten them out, or they kind of cook nice and even. That's tamale. incorporated 
needed some help. This guy over here, Dylan. It's always good because this is very, very time consuming. If you try to take this on by yourself, you'll hate making tamales and probably never make them again. I gave up on the spreader. It was just too big of a pain. <laughs> If you roll them like this, then you're not going to be able to peel them open. It's like I was saying, I always try to get them to come together. And then this is a little bitty shuck or husk or whatever, so I'm going to use this extra one to finish it. And then that's it right there. That should unroll pretty good. You want them standing up, I think, anyway. There may be people that lay them down, I don't know. But I like to stand them up, kind of work them around the inside here. High enough to get that water boiling, steam them. I have no clue how long this is going to take. I'm thinking 45 minutes or an hour, maybe. We got some pretty thick masa. Um, I don't know. You just have to do it and check them and see whenever that masa turns loose of that husk real good and it's firm and you can tell when it's cooked. <laughs> let these cool down and wiped them off and got the moisture off of them and they are uh, done show you what we end up with here what we need we want them to come apart easy make sure the moss up pulls away fine and uh, here you go that that's what you want is a uh, a good good tamale just like that anyway that's uh that's it it's pretty easy stuff if you have any uh questions just uh comment in the bottom if you like the video be sure to hit the like button Thanks for watching.